Okay, climbing stairs. So you are climbing a staircase and it takes n steps to reach the top. Each time you can either climb one or two steps. In how many distinct ways can you climb to the top? So if n is equal to three, there's three ways because you can do one, then one, then one, or you can do one and then two, or you can start with two and then do one. So let's get our base cases. If n is one, we return one. And if it's two, then there's two ways. Otherwise we'll use recursion. So the number of ways we can get two steps back is the function call on n minus two. And then we'll just copy this because you can get one step back is the function call on n minus one. And then it's just the sum of these two values is the current. So we can return that. Wait, time limit exceeded, what? Okay, what do we have here? Oh, we just need to add a cache to cache function calls. That'll apply memoization and it's O of n. Easy peasy. Okay, back from Vegas and oh, uh, we don't actually need to use recursion at all. You can actually do this in a bottom up dynamic programming. So if we get two steps back starts as one and one step back starts as two, you kind of just iterate through the sequence, just counting upwards. Next number is equal to two steps back plus one step back and two steps back updates to be one step back and one step back updates to be the current number. So the next number and we can just return one step back. That'll be that current number and yeah, good on time and space.